have no idea that this existed. Hi, hey, I'm Lisa Erdos. Hi, I'm Ann Chocolate. And I'm Barbara Howell. We are the gardeners. So I've been associated with the Noe Valley Library Gardens since 2009, and I became a gardener here at the request of a newspaper article to help renovate this garden. I'm the newest member. I started volunteering here a couple of years ago. And so I've been doing this since, I don't know, 2008, 2009, something like that. Now we do a lot of uh, maintenance and cleanup and planting during the winter when we have rain. And we wanted to make this garden super sunny and to reflect things that grow in California. So we have a lot of California poppies, we have a lemon tree, we have a cherry tree. We have beautiful irises back here that are from Alcatraz that Barbara got donated. Um, yeah. And we have a plum tree, a burgundy plum tree, which is absolutely fabulous. It started as a baby and when we harvest the plums, we take them into the library so that the patrons can have them. There's a lot of sur what I'm going to call survivor plants here over on the other side that have been here for a really long time. And I, you know, every now and then we think about who put this in, what were they thinking? And so we want to really take care of the old stuff that's been here too. I love the shady side. It gets it gets a little cool in the afternoons. Um, I love this spot right here behind us. I like a spot you're sitting in right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's sunny. You can see the whole garden. For me, I think my favorite part of the garden is this center bed as well because it changes throughout the year. So in the springtime, there's always like purples and pinks. And then towards summer, the, um, the pinks get more intense. And in the, and in the fall and the winter, the red native... Um, California Zauchinarius, which the hummingbirds really love, come up with that red color, and it's just fluffy. One of the things that I love to do, that we're able to do, is there's a rose, big, huge rosemary bush over here, and then the lemon tree is a Meyer lemon tree. And in, in the seasons, it really produces a lot, so we really like getting the, the lemons and taking them into the, the, the library desk so patrons can take the lemons home and they can take the rosemary. So it's nice to be able to share not just the beauty of it, but actually some of the fruits of it. I love to see the kids come in and they always seem to be amazed at what's back here. I really like early springtime because the bed over there that says please don't, no feet in the, in the garden. Um, in the spring, that is full of California poppies. And you can always see bumblebees rolling around inside the California poppies. And it's really fascinating to see little kids just in awe of these bumblebees kind of rolling around, getting the pollen and having a great time. The earliest that as far as I've been able to tell, that was for in the 1970s when a lot of, when a, a group of Noe Valley uh, folks made a community garden back here for growing vegetables, to put in a lot of uh, garden beds, planted some of the original trees. And then over the years, it really wasn't, to, you know, it's hard to do that on a sustained basis. So a lot of the stuff got a little bit run down. So, um, it was in the 19, I mean, 2000, the early 2000s, when at the time that um, the the library itself was getting its earthquake retrofit and a lot of, and, a, and a lot of restoration to the interior, that the exterior of it around the back here, like, well, let's give that a refresh as well. That was when you got involved. Yeah, that's when I got involved. There was an article in the Noe Valley Voice requesting volunteers, and a lot of volunteers from the neighborhood came, and one of them um, ended up being a landscape architect. And he came up with a design, and then we got the Boy Scouts involved so they could get their Eagle Awards in order to help put together these garden beds. And Golden Gate Park donated a lot of the original plants. So every year, as Lisa said, we're on the Noe Valley um, Garden Tour. 
uh, at which point we bring out all the old photographs that we have. So if you're interested in the history um, of the Noy Valley Library Garden, we have that here too. And we're on the tour every year because the majority of the patrons <laughs> who visit this library and utilize everything in the inside have no idea that there's this fabulous outside backyard garden. Lucky for you guys, the librarians, it's a really nice spot, especially right here, to come and sit and read or have your lunch or bring your kids for a little quiet time. So it's nice. Of course, yes. Every year when the Noe Valley Library is on the garden tour, uh, we have a little uh, information sheet asking for new volunteers. So if anyone is interested in volunteering, we would love to have them.